Lois. Steven. Hey, you guys, you guys sound fantastic tonight. You, you, you always fantastic, but it's really nice to see Joe Saylor back at the yes. kit. Go. Joe, good to see you. I miss you, Jazz Cowboy. Good to have you back. I miss you. We have some delightful guests this evening. We always have delightful guests, but these the, these these two I'm very excited about. Um, uh, Pulitzer Prize winner, uh, head of USAID, uh, former UN ambassador for the United States, Samantha Power is, Samantha Power. is here. Yeah. UN UN General Assembly, UN General Assembly is in is in session this week, which is why it took me two hours and ten minutes to get to work this morning. Woo. I'm going to try not to take out my anger on Samantha Powell. <laughs> it's in the not interview. Her fault. And also, uh, tonight we have uh, Billy on the Street himself, Billy Eichner, is going to be here. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> That's a new movie, Bros. <laughs> and folks, uh, I'm sure you've seen all the news about Hurricane Fiona, the devastating storm that hit Puerto Rico on Sunday, mm -hmm. knocking out power to the island and destroying thousands of homes. And I'm sure you all want to help, but often, no matter how much we want to help, we don't know what to do. Well, we here at The Late Show have put together a list of organizations to which you can donate to help the people of Puerto Rico. It's, it's pinned to our Twitter feed. Just go to at Colbert Late Show, give what you can, and let your fellow American citizens in Puerto Rico know that you love, you care about them, and you have not forgotten. <laughs> now... <laughs> Folks... If you watch the show, you know I spend most of my time right over there wandering the fresh news market, gathering for you the most topical charcuterie and guinea hen eggs, blending them with a vadu van and savory veal stock, then chilling it in a hand-hammered copper mold to create for you the Michelin star aspic gelée terrine that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, folks, I regain consciousness behind a burned-out pick-and-save, boil the gelatin from a possum's bones, and throw in the loose flaming hot Cheetos and Skittles in my boot, pour it all into a discarded sink until it sets to present the post-apocalyptic jello salad of news that is my segment. Meanwhile... Oh, meanwhile. That's refreshing. Meanwhile, in Arkansas, plant-based company Beyond Meat COO was arrested for biting a man's nose. Well, of course, he did. This man's on a steady diet of bean-based sausage and beef crumbles made from pea protein. That would make anyone snap. <laughs> Give the guy a Slim Jim before he kills again. <laughs> this nose-chomping incident explains Beyond Meat's new product, meat. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it was a road rage confrontation in a parking garage, and when police arrived, they found two males with bloody faces at the scene, to which Ramsey said, uh, actually, it's beet juice. It tricks your brain into thinking you're eating real nose. <laughs> Meanwhile, the precursor to the smiley face emoji, the emoticon, is 40. The first emoticon was posted to a Carnegie Mellon University message board on September 19th, 1982, the emoticon realized it was 40 when it fell asleep on the couch while watching a documentary, and it was fine with that. <laughs> Meanwhile, that sounds good. I'd love to do that. Oh. Meanwhile, Ethereum plunged after the SEC chair said the merge could make crypto a security. Forecasters further predict that I will never understand any of those words. <laughs> Meanwhile, starting in 2027, Californians will be able to choose human composting as an alternative burial option. Great! Oh, sure, you clap now, but it's one more recyclable to keep track of. <laughs> Honey! Honey, I know eggshells and coffee grounds are okay, but what about Uncle Rick? Is he compost or disposal? <laughs> Meanwhile, in the country of Georgia, archaeologists found a 1.8 million year old human tooth. Archaeologists plan to put that tooth under a pillow in hopes of attracting the 1.8 million year old 
Tooth Fairy. <laughs> it's your mom. Meanwhile, following the popularity of some dumbass TikTok challenge, the FDA is telling people, don't cook chicken in NyQuil. <laughs> that warning, of course, issued by the FDA's Department of... I guess we actually have to say this now. The FDA further warns that boiling a medication can make it much more concentrated, and inhaling the medication's vapors while cooking could cause high levels of the drug to enter your body. Really, FDA? Is this a warning or instructions? <laughs> because... <laughs> the statement continued, marijuana can be dangerous in high concentrations, like, say, if you pack them dank nugs in a gravity bong and take the entire chamber, then hotbox that <laughs> for a way mellow sesh. Also, mango helps fight cotton mouth. I can smell time. We'll be right back with Billy Eichner.